Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin 4 a runner 745 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Before we start, you can pair this watch with the Android phone in two ways. The first way is, is to do it during the setup process of the watch. So basically if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second way is to do it uh, through the settings after the watch has been already set up. Because you can set up the watch uh, without pairing it with a phone. First I'm gonna show you how to do it during the setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. Okay, so let's continue. Let's start by turning on the watch. To do it, press and hold the light button on your watch and keep holding it until you see the Garmin logo on the screen. Then you can uh, release the button and wait until, until the watch turns on. And after the watch turns on, and it's brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you will see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list by using the up and down buttons. Scroll through it, select the language you would like to use on your watch, and once you select it, press the start button to continue. And as you can see now, we're being asked if you want to pair our watch with a phone. Select yes and press start button, and the watch will enter pairing mode. Now we can download and install the Garmin Connect application on our phone. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, you can open the Google Play Store, tap on search bar, type in uh, Garmin Connect. And then tap on search. You should see this application Garmin Connect by Garmin. Tap on the install button to download and install it. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. Now we need to log in into a Garmin Connect account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on the create account button right here to make new one. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, check the box, tap on next, and enter the email and password. So give me a couple of seconds. Okay, this time it worked. As you can see, after you log in, you might get this pop up on the screen to allow the nearby devices to connect. You need to tap on allow access, allow. And after that, the app should automatically detect your watch, as you can see. If it doesn't detect uh, your watch, you can try to turn it on, or rather turn it off and on, and then re-enter the pairing mode. You can also press the back button and press the start button to re-enter the pairing mode. And after that, the app should detect your watch. And once it detects the watch, tap on the connect button tap on allow, enter the code from your watch on the phone, and tap on OK. Now tap on next. Here you can select if you want to have this watch as a primary device. So basically, if you have multiple uh, watches on connected to your Garmin account, you will be asked about this. And you can tap yes on or no. I'm going to tap on yes. And here we can set um, the bedtime. Basically, the time on which you're going to bed and the time when you wake up. This is useful if you want to use the do not disturb mode during sleep, which basically turns off or rather mutes all of the notifications on your watch while you're sleeping. And you can tap on the frame under the bedtime, on the uh, time right here, to customize it. You can swipe up and down on hours and minutes. Then you can tap on the wake time. And then you can tap on next, and you can select to 
uh, turn on or off the do not disturb mode during sleep. If you tap on yes, it's gonna be turned on. If you tap on no, it's gonna be turned off. Here we can agree to send the recent training data to our new device, to our watch. I'm just gonna tap on no and tap on next. And here we can allow the notification access. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on the watch, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and keep it disabled. I'm gonna tap on allow, tap on allow. Next we have the location permission. Uh, this is useful if you want, for example, to track your uh, activities like running, cycling and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can keep it disabled. I'm just gonna allow it. So I'm gonna tap on permis permissions, uh, location, allow, and then go back to the app like this. Next, we have the calendar access and you can allow it or deny it. This is useful if you want to, for example, receive the notifications about the events on your calendar and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and skip it. I'm just gonna tap on allow and allow. Next, we have the call, call log access. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications about the call, calls rather, and also uh, I believe you can see the voicemails and stuff like that. So tap on allow if you want to use it. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and keep it disabled. Same, same for the phone call access. If you want to receive the notifications about the calls, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can keep it disabled. This is the SMS messages. So for, for example, if you want to receive the not notifications about the messages on your watch, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can keep it disabled. And once you're done with the permissions, you will see this page tap on sync now. Wait until the devices are done syncing. Then tap on finish. And here we have a tutorial how to use our watch and you can go through it by tapping on next. Then tap on finish. And at this point you should see a main page of the app. Right here and you can see that there is an icon of our watch right here at the top. Also you can tap on the menu icon, scroll down, tap on Garmin devices and you should see your Garmin uh, for a runner 745 right here on the list of devices and it should say connected. This means that the devices are paired together. And that's how you pair the watch during the setup process. Now I'm gonna disconnect it from our phone and we're gonna pair it uh, during the or rather through the settings. So let me dismiss this message on the watch. Disconnect it from the phone. Okay. Now we need to enter the pairing mode on our watch. So to do it through the settings, press and hold the up button to open the menu. After the menu opens, use the up and down buttons to scroll through the menu. Scroll through the menu. Select the option called phone and then press the start button and here scroll down, select the option called perform, press the start button and the watch will enter the pairing mode. And now you can download and install the application of course and basically uh, do the same steps as we did uh, before or you can simply open the Garmin Connect application. If you have it already, you can tap on this plus button. The app will detect the watch automatically and basically we, we need to do the same stuff as we did before. So we need to enter the code. Tap on next. Select if it's primary device, set up the bedtime, uh, select to send or not send the training data, allow the permission for the location, and if you don't have rest of the permissions allowed, you will be asked to allow them. You can allow them or deny them. And once you're done with the permissions, you can tap on sync now. Tap on finish. Go through the tutorial. Tap on finish. 
and we have the main page of the app you should see watch right here and if you open the devices page it should also be here right at the top and it should say connected okay and that's how you pair this watch through the settings thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video Thank you.